Hello Hero Factory, how are you? You've caught me on one of my many walks. I love a good walk. And I understand you guys have started a new series called Go. Now today I wanna to look today at why we should go, but more importantly, what is the Gospels? Now the Gospel is defined as the good news. Can you turn to the person next to you and say good news? Excellent, now this news is the best news ever. It is the news all about Jesus and why he came for us, why he died for us, and why he is still the king of the world, and why we need to have a relationship with him. Now to understand the gospel properly, the best thing for us to do is to take a walk. And we're gonna take a walk down something we wanna call the Roman road. Each point in our walk along the road, we will see a different verse from the book of Romans and how that applies to us today. So are you ready? Let's go on a walk. So our first stop on our walk is found in Romans chapter 3 verse 23 and it says that for we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Now does anyone know what they think they know what that means? It seems a bit hard doesn't it? Now let me tell you this but don't worry about it because it's true and it's true of everyone. We have all made mistakes. Maybe you've made a mistake this morning. Maybe you have done something wrong that's upset your mummy or your daddy. But don't worry, it's okay. But you see, in the Bible it says we've all sinned. We've all done something wrong. And that's what sinning is. When we do something that goes against God or something that God doesn't see as happy or pleasing. But don't worry, everyone's done it. And because we sin, sometimes that means we can't have a relation with God. But don't worry, the best is yet to come as we go to our next stop. Now, the second stop on our Roman roads is found in Romans 6, verse 23. It talks about the consequences of the things that we do wrong. Now, I have to be really careful right now. So I don't know if you can see, there's some sheep in my path. Oh, no, they've moved now. We're okay. Everyone just shout, sheep. You see that? Sheep. Anyway, so it says this, I nearly tripped over. Uh, it says this in Romans 6, 23. It says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, the Lord. Now, what does that mean? Now, here's something you need important to understand. Sin has consequences. The things that we do wrong has consequences. The Bible says that that result is Sadly, not a relationship with God. It means that we're separated from God, which is sad, but here's the amazing part. The amazing part is God has a special gift for us, for you and for me. Everyone likes gifts, don't they? Christmas, birthdays, winning a prize. It all comes as a gift and God gives us the best gift. And it's a gift that we don't have to earn. It's a gift that, it's a gift that is freely given to us and that's called eternal life that means that when we go that when we sadly leave this beautiful earth we get to go to heaven and it means that we can live forever with God because of what Jesus did for us which will be part of our next stop let's keep walking enjoy do you want to see the scenery beautiful it's more or less of a road and more of a track. But hey ho, let's go. Our next stop along the Roman road is found in Romans 5, chapter 8. And this is all about God's big love. This is what it says. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, while we still were doing things wrong, Jesus Christ died for us. Can I get an amen? Can I get a hallelujah? Can I get a yes, mate? Because no matter what we did, God still loved us and sent his son for us. Even though we make mistakes, God still loves us so much. The Bible tells us that while we were doing things wrong, Jesus came to die for us. And he took on that punishment, those bad things that we had done, 
so that we, when we come and ask, can be forgiven. That's how much God loves us. He sent Jesus to take our place to make things right. Imagine you've done something wrong and you've been thrown in jail. And the jailer goes, hey, you're gonna have to spend 25 years for that thing you've done wrong. But then Jesus comes and goes, hey, how about I do the punishment? How about if I do the 25 years instead? Jesus does that for us. He takes on all the things that we've done wrong and says, mate, you're forgiven, which is brilliant. And that brings us to our next point, our next path on the road, on that Roman road of the gospel and the good news. And that is John 10, nine to 10, it says, if you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's what we need to do. Confess with our lips and believe our heart that Jesus is Lord, we can be saved. We can be saved from the things that we've done wrong. That we can be Christians and go to heaven. The Bible says it's simple. We just need to believe. Believe in our hearts. To trust. You know, may have different things that you trust. God. Jesus. Gravity. Cake. But when we believe in God. And say, Jesus is Lord. We get to go to heaven. Which I think is pretty cool, actually. All you need to do is shout out loud, Jesus is Lord, which means we're choosing and following him. And that's a promise that we can take. That's our next stop along this road, is Romans 10, 13. The promise for us is simply this. For everyone who calls, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. That means that your parents, you, your friends, all those who call on God can be saved, can be freed, which is brilliant. Right now, can you think of some people that you know who don't come to church or may not know who Jesus is? Jesus can save them too. It's our goal. It's our job now to go and tell people, to go out to our schools and say, hey, do you fancy coming to church? Or do you know Jesus? Or can I pray for you? What's the worst that can happen if you tried? And then, and then we get to the end of our road. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap this up right now. Gospel is good news for all of us. The gospel, the good news, this call to go, it's about us saying, God, sorry for our mistakes. God, you love us more than we know and you sent your son for us. If we believe in Jesus and ask him to be your Lord, we can be saved and get to be with God forever, which is familiar, brilliant. So right now, let's thank God. Let's thank God for who he is. Let's thank God for what he's done. Right now, let's close our eyes. Let me pray. God, thank you that you sent your son to take on everything that I've done wrong. God, I'm sorry for the times where I've not trusted you. But God, I want to say today that you are Lord. And you can take all my bad away. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you want to follow Jesus, that's what you can do. Do it daily. Do it now. And if you pray that prayer in the moment, when it comes to it, maybe one of our leaders will ask, if you pray that hand, just raise your hand. Pray that prayer, then raise your hand. And then they want to pray for you. Or maybe give you something as a kind of a Bible or, or next steps. But we all have a, an important part to play as well. And that's to tell our friends about who God is as well. So there's our challenge. Think of somebody you know who you can talk to today about Jesus.